Hello students, today the topic is replication of again. So in this video, we are going to discuss about replication of DNA. Before uh, getting into the details of this replication of DNA, let us try to understand some of uh, the functions performed by the DNA. Functions of DNA. The first function is, it stores the hereditary in information. It stores the hereditary information. Every organism will have certain uh, characters and all these characters are stored in the form of DNA. Okay, that is uh, the first one. And that uh, hereditary information will be transferred from parents to children and from one generation to other generation. So, this hereditary information is stored by the DNA. Okay. And the second one, it exhibits variations. It exhibits variations. So, we know that uh, uh, the children look like parents, like parents, but not exactly like parents. This is because of variations. So the degree of difference is called what? Variation. And this variation occurs during the formation of gametes. And you know that the gametes are haploid. And how these haploid uh, gametes are formed or how these uh, haploid gametes are produced by a diploid organism by the most important uh, cell division called meiosis. And during that meiosis, not only the ploidy will change, but even the variations occur during prophase 1. And during prophase 1, there are five subphases. I hope. Uh, you remember that. Leptotin, Zygotin, Pachytin, Diplotin and Diakinesis. And during Pachytin, the most important event will occur which is called crossing over. And due to that crossing over, so these uh, uh, genetic material will be exchanged among homologous pair of chromosomes and that lead to what variations. So, you have to remember that uh, that is uh, uh, the second function of uh, the DNA. It exhibits variations, variations due to crossing over, due to crossing over at the time of meiosis. So don't forget that uh, the crossing over occurs only at the time of meiosis, not uh, during mitosis. Okay. And let us say, sometimes we come across with sudden changes. And these sudden heritable changes are called what? Uh, mutations. So sudden heritable changes are called what? Mutations and these mutations will lead to the formation of new species and that ultimately of course uh, uh, helps in evolution. But that does not mean that mutations will occur uh, often, mutations occur gradually, slowly, okay, not uh, mutations are, are not of frequent occurrence. They are of rare occurrence. And one more point we have to remember. These mutations are more common in plants than in animals. Okay. That aspect we you will discuss separately under the topic mutations. Okay. So, that is the third one. And the most important. Okay. Important function 
that is autocatalysis autocatalysis and uh, which is also called as replication autocatalysis or replication so what is this uh, uh, okay this is this can also be called as auto means what self so this can be called as self duplication self duplication so here what happens so during replication so from uh, the parent dna daughter dna are formed so one parent dna will split into two daughter dnas which are identical exactly identical so this when does this will happen that we will discuss uh, later okay and uh, another important one is heterocatalysis so this is also called as what transcription so this is called heterocatalysis because uh, the dna is producing uh, a different molecule so here you can see that dna has produced dna but here uh, dna will produce rna so the formation of rna from one of the strands of dna is called what transcription or heterocatalysis and that rna will uh, undergo translation and helps in the formation of uh, proteins and uh, some of these proteins will behave as enzymes and some of them will behave as what hormones so this is uh, heterocatalytic function and this is autocatalytic function but uh, let us discuss one point here that when does this autocatalysis and the heterocatalysis work autocatalysis occurs only at the time of cell division whereas heterocatalysis occurs okay always because uh, uh, don't forget that all metabolic reactions in the cells are catalyzed reactions and they require organic catalysts and the organic catalysts are enzymes so these enzymes are formed only okay as a result of translation translation occurs only after transcription okay that's why heterocatalysis happens or occurs always whereas uh, autocatalysis occurs only at the time of cell division and uh, at the time of cell division the daughter cells require uh, the same amount of uh, the dna which the parent cell is having so that's why the dna of the parent cell will multiply that means uh, it will double okay but now well, let us see another uh, important function so though we call uh, the nucleus as the boss of uh, the cell or heart of the cell or dynamic center of the cell but uh, actually speaking uh, the dna is controlling everything and how it controls uh, through regulation of gene expression through regulation of gene expression it controls the metabolism of the cell that means whenever uh, it wants a reaction to occur then only it will undergo transcription at that particular place and produces that enzyme and that enzyme will catalyze the reaction or otherwise if it wants to stop that uh, reaction so that uh, part will not be transcribed like that uh, it controls the metabolism and it controls the growth and also differentiation and don't forget that uh, during uh, uh, okay development of uh, a child from the embryo different organs will be differentiated and all these uh, differentiation is under control of dna so that's how uh, uh, the dna is performing its functions and among these functions 
we are going to discuss in this uh, topic this particular one that is uh, autocatalysis or replication. But uh, before uh, getting into the details of this replication, okay, we, I want to give you some uh, more hints. Like what? The total amount of DNA per genome is called C value. C value is the total amount of DNA per genome. I hope you know what is genome. Genome is uh, all the genetic information or all the genes present in all the genes present in a haploid set of chromosomes in a haploid set of chromosomes. All the genes present in the, a haploid set of chromosomes is called genome. So we know that uh, are we haploid organisms or diploid organisms? We are diploid. So how many genomes uh, will be there in our uh, cells? Two genomes. So you just see here, if it is haploid cell, uh, uh, this amount of DNA is represented as C. And uh, the diploid cell will have 2C. And now, uh, don't forget, when uh, the cell is dividing, before cell division, okay, it prepares for the cell division. And that preparatory phase is called the interphase. And during that interphase, you heard that uh, there are three subphases. One is G1 phase. Second is S phase and the third is G2 phase. G1, S and G2 phases. Among that, uh, S phase is synthetic phase during which the DNA amount will double. Means what originally before, uh, uh, before, suppose if it is deployed cell, before S phase, it has uh, 2C count of uh, DNA and after S phase, very simple, it doubled, so it is represented as 4C. And the amount of DNA is expressed in the what units? And this amount of DNA is expressed in picogram and it is abbreviated as PG. And 1 picogram is equal to 10 power minus 12 grams. Okay, so the amount of DNA is expressed in picograms and that is uh, denoted by PG or abbreviated as PG and 1 PG is equal to 10 power minus 12 grams. And here I want to give you one example. Suppose in the examinations, they said that the SL before interface has 20 picograms of uh, DNA, 20 picograms of DNA before interface and what will be the amount of uh, this DNA after interface, very simple, just simply multiply it, double it, so after interface the amount will be 40 picograms. And don't forget uh, that during mitosis, at the end, how many daughter cells are formed? Two daughter cells. And remember that, for example, let us say that uh, this is uh, the mother cell with 20 picograms and after interface, uh, the amount became 40. And now uh, when two daughters are formed, each daughter will get how much? Very simple. Each daughter will get 20 pic picograms and you just see here uh, the amount of uh, DNA in the mother cell is 20 picograms and even uh, both daughters are received the same amount. 
how they have received the same amount because of that doubling and that happened during s phase and we call that process as what replication of the dna and i want to tell you another example suppose let us say so the cell which is having 20 picograms of dna is dividing meiotically and at the end of meiosis four daughter cells are formed and you see so the mother is having the 20 picograms and after interface 40 picograms and four daughters are formed and now you tell me how many or how much amount of dna each daughter will get okay each daughter will get okay 10 picograms So, means what? This 40 picograms of DNA is distributed equally among the four daughters. Okay? And here also, you see, the 40 picograms is distributed among the two daughters equally, and that's why it became what? 20 picograms. And this is what uh, you have to remember and you have to understand. And that will help you to solve some problems that uh, often asked in the competitive exams. Then we will proceed into the actual uh, replication of DNA.